real. And this is like fooling yourself into it's this self hypnosis. Yeah. Yes. So, and now this is the point. This is actually a, a technique called mental power. And this is what the, um, the entities are doing. They are doing this to make sure that they have the best chances to reach their goals. They know exactly that it's an illusion, but they trick themselves into having absolute 100% faith so that it gets their own reality. And this is their mental power. And that way, uh, the stronger you are, the better you are into tricking, hypnosing yourself into this specific thing. Yes, the higher the chance is that you will reach this goal. This is called a mental power. And if you train it, all, all these entities, um, especially evil entities, they are masters into tricking themselves into such like things. They, they are living in complete illusional world, worlds that they want to be true. And they, they, they fool themselves intentionally to reach their goals. And it works wonderfully. <laughs> So they and they know this, and this is why so many people are like, oh, I no, I don't want to have faith in something that is not sure. I don't want to have faith. I would trick myself, and this is stupid. I just yes, this is our problem. This is also my problem. I don't want to believe in something that is not sure. Why should I have faith in something that is not sure? But I learned that it's a skill, it's, it's, it's a talent, it's a mental power, it's a technique to achieve goals, is to trick oneself into some kind of illusional uh, thing. Yeah. Okay, let, let, let me speak about that a little bit more then, because yes. uh, what I said in my book when I was uh, assessing and analyzing uh, faith, I said it's self-hypnosis. And I did it on myself. Uh, I said to myself, look, I'm going to uh, do the best um, uh, I can to put myself under self-hypnosis. And I would read the Bible and nothing else other than the Bible. I would speak to other Christians and I'd go and speak to pastors and this, that and the other. And I would do all that. And uh, then I'd be praying um, to Jesus. Uh, I did that, you know, for several months, um, you know, because I really wanted to see if I could find something in addition um you know to what i had and um i discovered that uh slowly um with me because um being a very a self-assertive personality i'd already made up my mind that faith was rubbish um because i saw through it but i wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt because i knew about hypnosis because i'm a trained hypnotherapist so i was hypnotizing myself and i was finding that more and more uh, i was lending myself to believe in it and to maybe thinking when things happened and i met somebody oh you know that's um god sending this person to me this that and the other because in my life i've had many many synchronicities um and one of these synchronicities uh, was relating to god you remember from the book i walk out into the early morning and i've got god on my mind and i said god why am i always thinking of you what is all this about 24 7 i'm thinking of you and then i just like gaze down at the ground and it had been raining and it was gritty and the grit was dark but there was one small stone protruding up out of the grit which was red and this red stone was a heart shaped yes. i went down i went that looks like a heart i picked it out of the dirt i'll show it to you now yes you collected seven of them yes i, I collected seven and they're all on that shelf and there it is oh can you see nice. that in that beautiful sweet. shape heart sweet so i i i saw that i asked the question why am i always thinking about you what on earth is going on and then i find a symbol of love 
Yes. And it, it, is, it is the love that I've always denied. It was only six months before that Jehovah chastised me for my transgressions <laughs> against love. And so here he is again telling me, I've been telling you, I've been telling you, and I've been telling you, right? It's all love. That's why you're thinking about me, because I'm love. And then from this point forward, I found six more hearts making seven in a short vicinity where they, they, they should have been found by many other people. Um, and so what do we make of that? What do you make of that? Well, it, <laughs> you, get, you got your answer. Yeah, it's but... <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> nice. It's just kind. I mean be happy <laughs> enjoy it's so nice it's beautiful so you know within the space of say like one month i found the heart and then i had the uh, the answer um when i was looking up at the clouds and i'm like okay so the other thing i did is i tried confession and i said god okay i'm gonna confess to all my transgressions uh, i want to get them all off my chest and you know i did this and did that and it's something else and um so anyway there you have it now i've told you and then instantly i can't feel them in my body anymore i can't feel the weight i can't feel the guilt i can't feel that negative energy it's gone and so i'm yeah. like wow confession really really does work yes how does it work did god take away my transgressions because i asked him to yes because you were you were um honest you were truthful truthfully regretting and you repent yeah yes and he can do it of course it's um in your own self so every all our sins are like um imprints in our um system and god can in form of the holy spirit inside of you he can just wipe it out like this <laughs> yes if he wants and he does it in case you really really regret and he sees your heart and he decides and then it's done it's just like this everything all sins will be wiped out it work it's work it's working i mean yeah. you are I mean, you have the holy spirit you have it it's it's in it, it, within you you got it you have it so what even if you never were well, i don't know were you baptized no, doesn't matter no. i mean i i've always said that i've never ever been